Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel of The Chosen Individual and part 2 of The Big Reactor's Guide. Now, the previous video was moderately popular, I would say. You can notice that I'm not in my... in the other world that I was in in the previous video. And if you wonder why... Well, it's because... Let's just say a bit of an accident. <laughs> this uh, big reactor actively cool and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the turbine so as you can see I haven't even started running it yet but I've already got it filled with fuel and everything so thing number one that you need to do is build uh, build a square area it's basically the same as the reactor I don't know if there I don't I don't remember there being a limit but there probably is to be fair so yeah just uh to so yeah just um just build a cube shape there we go I'm gonna need this Be careful when clicking with this one. It can become very unstable very quickly. Anyways, so <laughs> yesterday's randomness video was random to say the least. Yes, you don't say. And it was using the Rebel Rebels mod for Minecraft. 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 So yeah, if you if you want me to do a review on that mod, then let me know in the comments. So after you build your turbine base, you gotta decide how tall your turbine is gonna be. I am, for example, going to make it that tall. Uh, I'm, I'm making it... Oh, and also the materials you're going to need is some turbine gloss, turbine housing, turbine controllers, turbine power ports, turbine rotor bearings, turbine fluid ports, and turbine rotor shafts, and turbine rotor blades. And well, some, some fluid guts of your choice. So do that. And then on the side that the reactor is, that the steam outlets are, place uh, some, some of your turbine fluid ports. And above that, or on the coolant side, it depends. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it above, just because. Uh, uh, put more, and then uh, right-click them with the crescent hammer to make the water outlet. Then on the middle, uh, go ahead and put a turbine rotor bearing, which you're gonna need for later. So yeah, just, just do that. Just finish up the frame. Okay. Now, you're also going to need to place the power port. Now, the power port you can place anywhere, really. And the turbine controller, which I recommend being here. Or maybe even there if you want. And that is all going you're going to need for a basic turbine. Now um other things if you want this to look pretty you can just you know do that. And you have to cover up the sides with um turbine glass. Actually now that I think of it I might make the controller uh, here and the part over here. So yeah, just finish um, filling this all out with the turbine glass, which is uh, two pieces of uh, regular Minecraft glass and some turbine housing. And 
and I'm going to show you how to transform because this um, mod, big reactors. Is that, is that my, my position better? I don't know. <laughs> um, because this mod that I'm using, that I'm showing you, called big reactors, um, only produces RF. It doesn't uh, produce HE. So we're gonna need a converter, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and it's very, very simple. So just raise these up until the top. Now grab your turbine rotor shafts. Just <laughs> fill in this little hole. And then start placing them along the entire turbine, so that it looks a little something like this. On the end, um... Make it look good and place some more, some more housing. And on the end, you're gonna need um, a block that that needs to function as the as a coil for the turbine. Now, for example, I'm going to use electrum. Now, I think you can make um, them of, out of other materials, but I'm not one trillion percent with materials are. You can stack um, you can stack the coals up as much as you want. I'm just gonna do two. And for the remaining, wait, no. <laughs> uh, just make sure that it spans the whole length of the turbine. Okay. Now all these need to be covered with turbine rotor blades. go and then just close the top with more turbine glass and once you finish it you should see that it turns into a multi-block so let's go over here to the controller um, this is the uh, intake valve this control lets you um, control the induction coils if you got them engaged it will produce power if not then it will not produce power um, this uh, activates and stop turbines, and this is for fluid exhaust. Now, a thing that you can do is that I I, I don't know if this increases performance or whatever, but you can um, you can do you can extend the rotor blades even more. And I think it does uh, increase performance. So, hold on. Let me, let me finish it. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see the last video where we talked about the passively and actively cooled reactor, this, react, uh, this turbine setup is part of the um, actively cooled reactor set. It is only available for actively cooled reactors. So now we go outside, I'll turn to a multi-block again. And well, everything is pretty much the same. Now grab some, some fluid ducts. And connect these to the steam outlet of the, of the reactor core. AKA the superheated coolant, AKA the water. Now you're gonna need a, another coolant port. Here, here, and here. Well, where the, it really depends on your design. And you're gonna need this to. Um, oh. No! Oh, shoot. I hate jelly crossing. Anyways, uh, you're gonna need it to pump condensed coolant back into the, into the reactor. There we go. And as for the coolant, well, uh, you can only use water for the moment. So, our setup should be done. Oh, wait, right. Grab some, some flux ducts. You can, you can grab it your one you like. Grab an RF to HE converter. Some red copper cables. This is for HBM's nuclear tech mod. Okay, yeah, just in case you, you don't realize. And any kind of uh, energy storage block you want. I'm using the spark because it's the biggest. As you can see, it will not connect. But 
the flux dump will. So just um, yeah, the RFT converter. And if you want, you can make more cables, but no, you can just put it here. Set these to input. Now you can turn on your turbine, but it will not start spinning yet. You need to go to your reactor and then activate it. As you can see, water is being converted into steam. The steam is being passed onto the turbine, which is turning the turbine, which is giving us electricity. And as you can see, uh, because, because the turbine is currently spinning so slow, it's um, it's only receiving a fair, uh, it's only producing a small amount of energy, but that energy output will increase as the as the turbine starts to spin faster. So just wait a little bit for the turbine to spin faster. It shouldn't take you a lot. Also, you can use crates and um, ducts for waste and fuel injection for the reactor as other add-ons that I didn't mention in the previous video. Also, another thing is control rods. Now, I don't know why, but if you want, uh, you can use these control rods and lower them to the reactor to lower the reaction speed which will basically lower, um, it will lower fluid, it will lower steam output, and it will lower fuel consumption. So, yeah, make sure that, um, you, that you have the control rod level at a comfortable level for you. It is not, um, absolutely, absolutely necessary that you, um, uh, that you um, that you use them. As you can see, I'm not using them. These reactors don't explode, and temperature is skyrocketing, but nothing is happening. You might only want to use the control rods if you know your water um, if your water can't take it. So you can see the turbine is spinning faster, and we're getting a bunch more energy. It's still very basic, <laughs> but it will start to spin faster and faster and faster. If I disengage the coils, it will stop producing energy completely, but will start spinning much, much faster. And just allow it to get to a high enough speed um, um, before, you know, uh, uh, actually starting to produce power, if that's what you're into. Still, basically any kind of reactor from HBMs is more powerful than this. But, uh, I mean, I'm giving you alternatives, I'm not saying they're good, I'm just saying they exist. So, as you can see, the heat turbine is spinning faster and faster and faster and faster. It's currently taking in 2,000 millibucks of steam, however... We should be able. Okay, 2000 <clears throat> is the maximum it can take, so yeah. Actually, you might have to do um, more of these, uh, of these because um, so that the, you know, steam. No! Ah, shit. Shoot. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Turn that back on. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get the crescent hammer up in here. But yeah, you will need to make multiple steam ports because otherwise it is very likely that um, it will not be enough. As you can see, if I will stop the turbine completely. Uh, actually, and it has to go this little again. So make sure uh, that your setup is complete before, you know, commissioning it, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, it could be a huge pain to, you know, uh, start breaking and redoing things. It's really, really annoying. So you can see that it immediately fills up with steam, and it is granting a, it should be granting us a higher amount of steam. 
I can't see it here, but I think that's just because the gauge is bad. So, 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 so love the steam. As you can see, it's, it's traveling. It's traveling to here. So, yeah, that's basically it. Just, just wait until the, um, just wait until the until the um, turbine is spinning fast. It should take a couple minutes. Um, and the flow valve is basically as open as it can be. As you can see, we produced a little bit of power from very little fuel, but still basically any reactor from HBMs is more powerful than this. Now tomorrow I want to do, let me just talk about what I want to do since the turbine is kind of taking years. Um, uh, tomorrow, or soon, because you know me, I'm bad at planning things. Um, I might have, I might um, do a video about mm, RBMK Reasim reactors, which I really wanted to do for a long time, um, but just haven't gone around to doing, and um, uh, it was mostly because of the suggestion of, uh, hold on, let me see, I'm taking a look. <laughs> It was because of the suggestion of Eric Wertagustow. I think that's uh, German, but um, it's mostly because of him that the idea came up from this comment on my plutonium based Armin K video. Anyways, uh, so yeah, just wait until the turbine spins fast. Let me see how that has fast is going, let me activate the coals, as you can see we're producing a tiny bit of power, a tiny bit of power, RF actually um, is worth more than, <laughs> than HE for some reason, so yeah, I don't know why that happens, so anyways, um, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, once again if you want me to do the, um, the um, Rebel Rebels mod showcase and let me know in the comments down below because it's a mod that I really really like I've loved it for a long time and I really want to show it off to other people uh, since it's not very well known and, well not many people know that it even exists so I, I want to be showing you that soon someday anyways so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Peace out, gamers.